All right, I'm here at Purchase Green and we are learning how to there install turf onto just grid, because it has a special name. Air, air drain. drain. Air drain, and this is seven square feet per air drain, and take it away. So when you, when you, when you put it against the wall, you always gotta make sure that you have the nipples facing right and one facing you. When you continue the other uh, um, line of it, of the air drain, if you don't find these nipples against where you need them to be, you have to take everything out just to fix that one piece that you had to be, okay. to get right. Always in, let me come around from yeah. this position yeah. here. Okay, so we're, if we're installing this way, there's our wall yeah. or, or the end, whatever we call it. We always have to have this here, this prong nipple here on this side, and we always have to have the arrow facing to the right. If we've done that, then we're ready for the next panel. If we don't do that and we get a couple panels in, we're gonna have to take it all apart and redo it. Yeah. And then in securing the turf, he was showing us that once we set our turf down here the most important we have these that are easy to staple into but there's not enough of those so when we come along here we take our staple gun and we actually put it down there and we angle it angle that gun so it shoots a staple right into the side any any of these sides work anything that it can the staple can go grab and stick to if it pulls back out we didn't hit something just shoot a couple more staples in Yep. Now, should this, if this is the end, if this represents the end, should we cut off these little hanger pieces? Correct. We're using um, galvanized or steel staples? Steel. You want them to rust. You right? want them to rust, yeah. Yep. So just air compressor, stapler, uh, probably two inch staples, inch and three quarter, no, two inch. Yeah, uh, an inch is fine. Inch? Yeah. All right. One inch staples. You're only shooting through the backing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. One inch staples, steel, not galvanized. Um, probably like everywhere. And then, um, I don't think there's a place. Maybe there's a case where this would have to fold down, and yep. and we can make that happen if we need to. Yeah, to yeah. Um, we'll see how it goes. But I've gotten. Okay. We're setting them all up. So there's our wall. So then we come down here and we note that we have our, our latch end right here. And we have our arrow, I'm sorry, our arrow pointing to the left here. Make sure it's always touching. You don't have to shift anything. You just go like this. Very easily. Then you step on the other one, lock them in. Oh, that's how you lock them in, huh? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Same thing here. Yeah. And here's where you get something tricky because you got both sides. Both sides. If you do that. Do so you lock them in at the end or one at a time? Tell Look at that. Precision. Okay, so that is 60, it says five feet by five feet. 28 square feet. Okay, if we did the one. 